Hi folks, today I'm going to do a quick video on my washer dryer. Uh, I've had them, haven't been on the road as much uh, as maybe would have had I loaded these things up, you know, last year at some point. Uh, but I'm back on the road again and what I wanted to do was do a quick video that included uh, an actual, I've been out for three days now, going to do some laundry, show you what it does, doesn't do, and how well it does or doesn't work. Okay, we've got this for our load of laundry. I will give you a full accounting when I get it put in. And this was what was left. So what I was able to do was get a pair of jeans, several pairs of sweats, sorry there's not better light there, um, several shirts, so three, I believe three shirts, couple t-shirts, socks, and some underwear. And that was our load for the moment, and we'll see what happens. I have started my wash and will give you an update as soon as it has completed. When washing, the unit is very quiet. And as you can see, it fits very nicely in the bay that I uh, was a closet. It's set up to be the RV that I have. It was set up to be washer dryer or closet. I removed all the shelving and piece parts, built myself a traveler to pull the washer in and out, and uh, so far so good. Used it a couple times, but uh, this is the first true review while in place. Okay, we are an hour later. The laundry is done. Everything did the way it's supposed to. I'm going to be putting it in the dryer and I'll let you know about that as well. Uh, but again, quiet, everything easy, and, and uh, definitely did as you would expect from any kind of washer. I have my Panda dryer going now, and um, you can see my external exhaust system and cardboard cutout support structure, uh, but it works great. And uh, I actually have dried several different things along the way. I just, you know, have wrung out some uh, things like uh, rags and, and uh, floor mats, things like that, and uh, works great. Uh, but you definitely need that external exhaust if you want the thing to actually dry in any realistic period of time. Uh, also thought, you know, if it's really, really cold in the bus, you could always fire this thing up and just let it aim the air into the room. Either way, it's going to be warm. I'll let you know as soon as I have dry clothing. Okay, I have opened the door. I had mentioned before I used that as my exhaust out my RV window. Uh, there's my high-tech answer to external exhaust. But I've opened the door an hour into the drying cycle. It's one hour. Not two, not any of those kinds of things. Now, I don't anticipate perfect results, uh, but just opening that door and sticking my hand in quick, uh, we are not in bad shape. So I'm going to open up, lay the clothing out, and you can take a look. All right, well, this is what I had in the laundry. Was uh, two pairs of, let's call them sweats, one was pajamas, and then t-shirts, uh, a sweater and then a couple pairs of jockey shorts that kind of thing and they are all dry so both the wash and the dry worked wonderfully within an hour in each case uh, and while this is not maybe the big load you expect when you're at home uh, doing uh, the normal kinds of laundry it certainly shows that these smaller units are effective and can do the job all for now